Hi guys and welcome to yet another new video. So today I will be showing you guys how to get the uh, full debug settings menu as there has been a new release where um, there is a full debug settings menu which you can get. So I do have a previous video showing you how to get the limited debug settings menu and uh, when you jailbreak the PS4 for the first time. But with this video here I will show you the full debug menu with uh, full debug settings. Now. Just a disclaimer before we go ahead, I need you guys to know that you need to be very careful with these debug settings and don't just randomly click things as some people may do because you could end up in a really big pickle and a bad situation. Now the developer has recommended that you 100% do not read that, do not go into IDU mode, okay? Do not do that because this will get you stuck in a boot loop and you won't be able to actually start up your PS4 anymore. Now there are people who reckon that they can get out of this but I personally don't want to go anywhere near that as I've mentioned in my previous videos. My PS4 is in pieces and I currently am unable to use the power button or the eject button. So the only way I have to turn this thing on is with the controller and I cannot get into the recovery menu that way. And um, my PS4 is pretty pretty much on the rocker anyways. It's not, it's not doing that great. But um, it works well with all these uh, testing files and whatnot. So as I said, do not use the IDU option you can look around, I suggest not touching anything unless you 100% know what it does and um, yeah, that's pretty much it, let's get straight into it so I'll be linking you the payload file here okay, so you need to download this payload file as I have done and what I'll do is, I'll be cutting this video right now to show you how to set up the actual the actual um, environment so that you can run this exploit on your computer and um, once we've done that I will come back to this video here so I'll be editing that in from a different video of course as I've covered this before and um, we'll be going from here we're needing to download Python as we need this to run the exploit so make sure you download Python 3.0 so 3.6.4 is the latest don't um, don't use the old one or else this exploit or this um, actual program that we're going to use won't work and the last file we need to download is this PS4 exploit host. So this comes with everything you need. It comes with the actual PS4 exploit. It comes with both IDCs and Spectre Devs 1 included and packaged together. Uh, this will also come with a like a few things that you can work with as well to make it easier for you. So this this will make it pretty much as easy as you can. Now um just to let you know guys this tutorial is gonna be for PC only unless you uh have a Mac that can dual boot or you guys know how to use wine you can follow along but um otherwise you will need a PC for this. Now after you've downloaded all these files here make sure that you save them all to a folder. So I've just got a folder I'll show you now. So it just looks like this with all my files inside it. So as you can see here the PS4 exploit host file which is this one here the folder and um, you guys want to go and install everything you definitely need this so make sure you install this with uh, the default settings let it go through and do its thing okay so now that you've gone ahead and you've done all that we've got the uh, file here so what you want to do is you want to go into the folder where you've saved all your you know your your files so you want to go into the ps4 exploit host folder you want to go into the payloads folder and what you're going to want to do is i've already done it but you want to get the file click and drag it into here so it will ask me to replace mine but i'm, I'm not going to because it's in there so once that's done it should be good to go now what we're going to do is we're going to um run the actual the actual um server now but this will give me an error and I'll show you why and I'll teach you guys how to fix it, okay? Just because you guys might get an error similar to this. So I'm going to recreate the error that I've had in the past so that you guys can see it and fix it and it'll give you guys a little bit of an idea, hopefully, so that you can sort of diagnose this because um, this error can come up for so many different things in so many different ways. So first what we're going to want to do is you want to run a command prompt in administrator as I just showed you how to do there. Then once we're here at system32, you're going to want to type cd 
and then go space then you're going to want to come to where your folder is where you've got start.py you're going to want to click here and copy that directory so control c go back to administrator command prompt right click on that and you will paste that into there now you're going to want to hit enter and it will take you to that directory now what we're going to do is we're going to type start.py okay now this is going to give me an error in a second so what we're going to use is anyways we'll use IDCs because his has got more um, it's got more accessibility than Spectre's one so press 1 and hit enter and now as you can see here ooh never mind I, um, I apologize I actually could run that without any issues we're going to as we've got the server running here okay now what we need to do is we need to go to the PS4 and I will show you guys how to actually have your IP set up on the PS4 so that you have your PC as a DNS and you can connect to the PC so I'm just going to pause the video for a moment I'll be back in a second okay guys so I'm back now I just had to open up my uh, recording software so as you can see here I'm still logging onto the PS4 um, it's opening up now alright so what we'll do is I'll take you to the network settings so let's go there first and I'll show you that there's um, nothing nothing fancy going on yet so go into network settings and then we're gonna go set up connection so I've already done mine just follow the way I do it I recommend using a LAN cable but if you want to use Wi-Fi that's up to you don't um don't come crying to me if the packets get lost over the Wi-Fi network and uh, you brick your PS4. But um yes, yeah, so regardless, I'm using a LAN cable, so I'm gonna proceed with LAN cable. Um set up, make sure you do custom. So I'm gonna do custom. And we're gonna come here, IP settings, you wanna do manual. Okay. Now I've got my PS4 set up from a previous video, from the FTP video, so I've got a as a static IP on on uh, sorry a static IP on 192.168.1.6 that way it will constantly be on that IP it won't change on me and the server will work fine if I ever need to access files off it now um I've also got my subnet mask it's 255.255.255.0 you should set yours to the same your default gateway will be different to mine so you need to figure out what yours is I will show you, we can do this with command prompt again, so open up a command window, type in IP config, like so, and you want to see here, IPv4 address, so mine is, oops, sorry, my bad, default gateway, and mine is 192.168.1.1, and you want to make yours whatever yours is there. If your IP starts with a 10, then you should seriously consider getting a new router but no I'm joking um, some people do still have that it's really really bad you guys should try and get something that does have 192 as everyone really uses that sort of prefix but anyways if yours starts with a 10 then your IP address will have to start with a 10 as well on the PS4 you can't use 192 with a default gateway that's on 10 but um, anyways continuing on same with the primary DNS so I've got mine as 192.168.1.50 which is my actual computer's IP so if you take a look here it'll tell you your DNS here you can make sure that you put this as the DNS on the PS4 here okay secondary DNS don't worry about that so we're gonna go ahead so we press next and leave that as automatic leave that as do not use and we're going to test the connection so now it should say success success failed and then it will continue checking at this point we've uh, succeeded in what we need to do you don't need to do anything else don't worry about PlayStation Network press back to exit out of that exit out of it again and now look I will prove to you guys that I do not have anything going on it's not a dev kit nothing look see I've got nothing down here as install package files or any uh, debug settings just yet and what we're going to do is I'm going to put the uh, console up here so you can see it as I'm doing it so the console will be giving us feedback as we do things on the PS4 actually I'll put that up a little bit more for you so we're going to click on user guide and watch what the feedback on the console gives us 
Okay guys, so I'm back yet again. Uh, sorry, I had to restart the PS4 as it crashed when I tried to run that, um, that file last time. And uh, this is just good proof to you guys to show that these, these files still aren't perfect. So while you guys want to play around with them, just be very careful because mine just crashed and it did um just did a reboot and had to rebuild the database, which is fine. Um, for you guys, you'll probably recover a lot quicker than me if um, you have this issue because with mine, I have to use the controller to turn it back on as I keep telling you guys and it takes a little bit of time for it to do that but um, we're back online now, we're going to go and run the exploit again so we're going to start up the user guide as you can see, the exploit has been sent and we're going to send payload number 1, hit enter payload sent this time it worked. Exit code zero. Okay, great. Let's exit the browser. So no problems with that. Let's exit now and scroll down to the bottom. And just as I told you guys, there are the debug settings, like I promised you. So as you can see, everything's done on this console. We don't need it anymore. But um, yeah, if you look around, I'm not going to go into any of these menus myself as I don't really want to uh, risk anything but um, here's some of the stuff you've got some of the stuff you can do and um, as I said again this is um, going to be at your own risk so be careful with whatever you're doing uh, make sure you don't you don't do anything like go into IDU mode because that's a pretty silly move and you don't want to do that alright so um, I hope you enjoyed the video guys if you have any um, have any further inquiries or anything you want to know just be sure to leave a comment down below make sure to rate this video subscribe and make sure you peace out and i'll catch you in the next video guys see you